small. For premium auto brands, it's the next big thing. Think Mercedes CLA and BMW 2 Series. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Audi's A3, around for years as a hatchback, returns to the U.S. as a sedan. So much more appealing to Americans. In person, it looks like an A4 left in the dryer too long, which looks like an A6, which uh, looks like an A8. Perhaps because of its size, you're expecting a little price tag? Life doesn't always work out that way. This particular car with destination retails for $37,200, and it is not fully optioned. For example, keyless ignition and paddle shifters are upgrades. So is power on the passenger's chair. Uh, This is tedious. Backup camera? That's optional and not on this vehicle. That's standard equipment on a lot of economy cars. And uh, one last gripe, just one power port on this trim level. At least there's a USB port. Okay, here is where A3 rules. The little hairs on the back of your neck will love the driving dynamics. There's perfectly weighted steering, ample power and torque, plus a controlled, comfortable balance from the suspension. Simply put, this small sedan's a lot of fun to drive. Also, ergonomics are great and the sight lines are terrific. That and the ideal size for cut and thrust maneuvering gives a driver confidence. It's 10 inches shorter than A4. The bean counter side of me remains skeptical. The fun hog is seduced. Of the two engines available at launch, this one's the most powerful, a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with 220 horsepower. It's hooked up to an S-Tronic 6-speed dual-clutch automatic, and in this case, Quattro all-wheel drive. Audi interiors have a well-earned reputation. A3 maintains it. Eyes immediately zero in on the dramatic display and crisp graphics. Trim texture is pretty cool. Ears will savor the delicate clicks. You don't get this refinement in a Jetta, if you're wondering. Upgrade to the navigation package and the nicely done MMI interface adds this Sesame Street approach to data entry. Five, two. Ah, that's my name for it, not Audi's. I'd like a bit more side bolstering for the heated saddles and a full glass roof, but all in all, this is a great place to see the world from. This door opening is on the small side. Not so great for getting child seats in and out. Once in, though, there is enough room for my feet, and I'm surprised that my knees aren't jammed up against the seat back. Headroom is fine, too, though this structure here does crowd your head a little bit. Small storage cubbies? Yes. Power port? No. A3 is probably aimed at singles and couples. Two back here shouldn't be a problem, and friends can surf the web, courtesy of an available 4G LTE hotspot. Both the outgoing A3 hatchback and the current A4 sedan hold five packs of this stuff. This is where standardized testing comes in handy. A spare? Uh, Those don't come on all cars these days. A3 offers as much flexibility as a small sedan can. That's good. Cargo won't get crushed by the hinge arms, but as expected, this space is on the small side. That's a four in the TP trunk test. Front drive models start at around 30 grand, then skyrocket, topping out at just over 44 large. But really, Audi isn't alone in this strategy. BMW and Mercedes do it too. I'd argue A3 is best in class, so there's redemption behind the four rings, and it brings back memories of the original A4. That's a very good thing, just not an inexpensive one.